I'm going to give you all the latest updates concerning Manchester United today. As we have two major things to talk about today. Thomas Tuchel and the future of Eric Ten Hag at Manchester United. And also, Dejan Sancho is set to leave Man United as we have agreed and decided that we must sell him this summer. So no way back for Sancho as United. Regardless of who becomes the manager, Sancho will leave Manchester United. But talking about Thomas Tuchel and the future of Manchester United, it was reported earlier today um, by the Daily Mail that there was a meeting in Monaco last Tuesday between Thomas Tuchel and the new Manchester United shareholder, Jim Ratcliffe. It also says Tuchel reviewed his plans if he was to take over the coaching position at in the event of Eric Nag being fired and Tuchel is said to have explained that United to United corner that he could get the United sporting problems like Sancho and Messi Mount back on track. And also Tuchel, Tuchel mentioned Antonio Rudiger as an example that he had already succeeded in passing in the he has already succeeded in the past in getting players with great potential back to top performance. That's what we got from the Daily Mail. Then from Fabrizio Romano, he came out and said Thomas Tuchel is not planning to take the United job. He wants to take a break from coaching any club this summer. Tuku currently decided not to continue talks with United after meeting in recent weeks. So, the report we are getting is, Tuku decided to pull out of that because he felt he wasn't going to get the job. But according to the report, he had a meeting with Jim Ratcliffe. So, why is Sir Jim Ratcliffe holding meetings with managers when the Hag is still in the job? Are they going to keep the Hag or are they going to sack the Hag? It is turning into an issue. But also from the Daily Mail, it also said that Man United are set to make a final decision on Ten Hag's future this week. We have been waiting for more than 15 days, which is two weeks um, um, plus one day right now. Um, and according to the report, this week will be the final week for Ten Hag and his future, right? But why was Thomas Tuchel, why, why were we even talking to Thomas Tuchel in the first place? Why was he even in consideration for the job? Why exactly are we speaking to managers? Why are we just keeping the hand and moving on with business as usual? Because now, fine, two is out of the race. Who do we have next? Other managers that, are, that have been linked to us are Mauricio Pochettino and Roberto Rezabi. And we haven't had any official news about those two targets pulling out of being interested in United. So what are we going to get next? I'm going to get, oh, United are talking to Pochettino. Oh, United are talking to the Zerbi. Are we going to get Ten Hag is officially staying, maybe giving a new contract or staying for one, for one, continuing his contract at the club with full support from the Ineos group. But according to um, the Daily Mail, it also said Ineos wants a manager with a proven track record of getting the best out of players, given that a significant turnover in the playing staff is unlikely. What this report is saying is that my United wants a manager that can that can get the best out of what he already has, meaning that we are highly likely not going to sell key players that are meant to sell, and we are not meant, or, and we are most likely not going to buy as many players as we should buy to have a proper transfer overhaul of the club. This is Glazers 2.0 because. Why exactly do you decide to buy this club or buy part of this club if you don't have money to invest in the transfer window or you don't have money to invest in the club as a whole? Because if it was the Qataris, we won't be getting such stupid news like, oh, we are going to get, we want a manager that can manage what he has because we're not going to spend too much money in the transfer window. That's total bullshit. We have players that are, that are available that we can sell and raise up to 120 million pounds to get what we have and invest wisely in the transfer market. But let's see what happens. And he also says Enos will make will make whatever transfer funds they can available. But a significant overspend in recent seasons has left United working in a tight rope with regards to Premier League's financial fair play rules. I agree. We have spent stupid money in the recent years. We have negotiated stupid contracts and stupid transfer fees. But the way to solve that problem is by selling players. And we're having problems with selling players because we gave stupid contracts to those players and those players are not performing well and then no club are interested in signing those players. So that is the problem we are having. That is the problem we are having. So this excuse of um, 
there is no money and blah blah. Focus your attention on selling players, and we can be able to raise a lot of money to invest in the summer transfer window. The key point is selling players. We have been buying players for stupid um, prices, but we haven't been selling anybody. Focus on selling players, and even if we won't have so much money to sign players, we'll have more than enough to get the most important positions we want. So what's going to happen? Tag stays, tag goes. What is going to be the decision? Hopefully, um, we get that decision very early this week because according to the reports, you know, I'm not, I don't speak for myself. I don't know the news. I'm not in England, but it is always according to the report. We go with what the report says. I can bring a transfer news today that you think is not correct, but it is because I am following the report. I'm reacting to the report. It might be true. It might be false, but we have to talk about it. So according to the report, the hang is back from holiday. So this week, early this week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday should be the time where we will get an official insight on what the future of Eric Ten Hag is. If he's going to go or if he's going to stay. And Fabrizio Romano released a really good news about Jaden Sancho. Um, he says that um, Man United are 100% decided on selling Jaden Sancho this summer, regardless of who is the manager. United board want 40 million euro, 40 million pounds fee to let Sancho live with interest from Dortmund and other European clubs. Truth being told, I don't know if any club will be willing to pay 40 million pounds for Sancho, but it's something we can start with. Um, Dortmund are interested and maybe one or two primary clubs are interested or clubs from in, in Italy. I don't know. Um, but the fact that we are all into selling Jadin Sancho is, I'm happy about that because we need to raise money and he needs to go. He has been a flop. His official is a flop. Time to move on. Time to get him out. He doesn't want to stay. The relationship did not work. 70 million wasted. We gave him 300k or 350k a week. Waste of money. But um, we have to move on from that. Um, and yeah, I'm happy Sancho will be sold. Definitely. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? What else do we have? Today has been a really slow day. Um, in terms of transfer news, I guess well the main issue is the future of Eric Ten Hag. But that's what we that's what we're going to. So tell me in the comment section below, what do you think uh, about the, these two topics we talk about? The, the Sancho's future. Him, him, um, the, the incentive to be sold and also Thomas Tuchel leaving the race for a United job and what is the future of, um, Thomas, uh, Mauricio Putacino and then uh, Roberto de Zabi who could be the next links to the job or is Ten Hag going to stay? I want Ten Hag to stay. It's time to move on, focus on transfers, but let's see what happens with that. Don't forget this is Die Hard United. We want stuff for everything Manchester United and I will see you all on the next time. On the next one, <laughs> do leave a follow, like this video, subscribe to the channel, follow the page, and um, yeah, I'll see you all.